And we're all back on Yoshi's Island. Let me just adjust my audio. Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. There was all in an uproar over the baby, I guess. I don't know. It's a baby. It's Mario. And we are going to take him on an adventure. How the baby knows where to go? I don't know. How it's talking to other dinosaurs? I don't know. Don't question it. We are playing Yoshi's Island. Welcome to Yoshi's Island, and welcome to Five Day Gamers. We are doing a charity for WWF, so save the animals, and all donations are appreciated, of course. If not, we're going to have a fun time just streaming some Yoshi's Island. So this is just a tutorial level, nothing much. Um, I'm playing the GBA version because it has extra levels that aren't in the regular SNES version. Um, I'm going to be trying to do 100% because, well, we want to see all the levels, right? So let's get right into it. Let me change my egg throwing. We want hasty because I am a very rush-oriented person. This isn't a speed run, but I don't even remember where a lot of the things are in the later levels, but make eggs and throw eggs. Now try throwing the eggs, of course. So easy, easy. Um, this was a game that I really grew up with, honestly. It's still one of my favorite games to date. A lot of people don't like how you have to backtrack sometimes for the secrets, but I personally think that it just lets you explore the levels really nicely. Yeah, so now to throw an egg, you told me just how. Anyways, yeah. No, I haven't played any... I actually haven't played any of the Yoshi's Islands besides this one. I have Yoshi's Island DS, but I haven't played it all. Wow, I thought I hit the other guy. Oh well. So first secret, obviously, isn't... It isn't even that secret. It's pointed out to you. I think this guy tells you about red coins. Chomp Rock is a useful thing. It is a thing. I don't know how useful it is. A lot of people do not like the Chomp Rock because it slows the game down tremendously. Now, you can see the difference between regular coins and red coins. The red coins should be a little bit darker, or is that they spin a little bit differently? I think it's that they spin a little bit differently. Let's see if I can see which one... It is out of all these. Okay, well, never mind. I'm not bound doing that jump today. Also, 100% completion. A lot of people like a lot of people don't like the, the how do you do it in this game because you taking hits does change it. I think it is a spin. This one should be red right here, right? Hmm. I don't remember how it is. You can tell exactly, but. I believe we we gotta do the trick shot here, so we gotta we gotta appease the tool up, Lord. Uh, close enough. Cl close enough. There we go, and he gives a lot of stars. I pers oh I, I, another difference between the GBA version and the SNES version is just um, the, the sounds Yoshi makes. and the original, he made those f fart noises. I don't even know what it was. But in this game, he actually says Yoshi. I didn't even know, like, because I started with this one first, I didn't even know that Yoshi made other noises. Oh, whoops. Yeah, well, see, like, it's that mechanic w if shown off to us. If you get hit, the timer goes down. Easy peasy, though. Whoops, I wanted to hit that guy. And of course, you can always trick shot for more stars. But I know where all, I know a lot of the hidden stars in this level. So, so fun fact: the shy guys say "Hey ho" 
because in Japan, that's their name, is, is, uh, Shy Guy? So, Hey Ho in Japanese is Shy Guy. Fun fact. Not that fun, actually. Whoops, I am releasing eggs way too early. Uh, I hope I'm not gonna be some stars short, but... I think this, uh, version also fixed a lot of the glitches in this game. Like, I know in the original there was a glitch where you could just eat Baby Mario with the- using Goonies. I'm not that familiar with it, though. Like I said, I haven't really played the original that much. So this should have stars. Oh, that's just a flower. Does this one have stars? Yeah, there we go. And I believe there's one more star cloud up ahead, so I should be good to go. I always like that the sunflowers had the big smiley faces. Just this game is just really cute. <laughs> I have to say that. Sometimes you feel bad about killing the enemies, like especially the walking flowers. They're just trying to have a good time. All right, yeah, blah 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 points. So that's the whole chomp rocks are useful mechanic. Have fun pushing those around for half the level in later stages. Unfortunately, you can't have a like a like a reservoir of stars, but. Let's see if I get to play a bonus game. It's really interesting in speedruns of this game how they pr try to avoid the bonus game on purpose because it just slows you down. And a hundred points. Easy peasy. So, next level. Oh, <laughs> the controls are not the next level. Uh, this one should have the falling chain chomp mechanic, I believe. And, uh, what is it? Watch, yeah, watch out below. So, this level actually kind of scared me as a kid, just because of the, like, unpredictability of the chain chomps. You just see them jump at you in the background, and you're just like, oh god, are they coming for me? Why? Oh god! Oh, oh Jesus! I don't even re I don't even remember where where they are programmed to fall. All right, one there. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, <laughs> this is still nerve wracking today. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. Ooh. I. I'm still. <laughs> I mean, that's just how really, that's how, re that, those, that was real fear right there, everyone. Oh no, get it up! Okay, I know there's a red coin in these. One of these has to have one. I guess not. And we get the bonus ring. Oh yeah, I forgot that getting the bonus ring, uh, destroys everything on screen. Alright, it's, okay, good. Oh cool, I was able to catch my egg. Yeah, if you are mechanically skilled at this game, you can uh, catch your bouncing eggs and get red eggs, which give you two stars on enemy hit. And that's an important mechanic we'll see later. I'm just gonna farm up an eggs, and I'm at six. You can only hold six eggs, of course. Ah, yeah, okay, so we should have the first transformation segment coming up. I believe it's a helicopter. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry. Okay, that's a dead end. I actually don't like this mechanic that much, just slows the game down. It's like, cool, uh, it doesn't really add anything. I mean, I guess they do hide things in here later on, but point being for right now, it's just a, it's just a way to introduce it. This game is very good about how it adds its mechanics, like how stages gradually get more difficult. I guess I'll get this. I felt like I just got one of those, why do I need two? Oh god, that noise is just gonna get really annoying. <laughs> All right, going up, going up. So I do have to go back up. Okay, so it goes by the rules of it's not on screen and it doesn't exist. I love the background of this stage. I re if I could find the background, I would totally make it my desktop wallpaper. The art style in this game is probably the most iconic feature about it, that like hand-drawn, sketched vibe it has. They kind of dropped it in the later games, which is sad. Uh, that's just... Yeah, so there are items that you can get 
that adds star count. The 20 star item is probably the best one. So here we get the first transformation. It's the helicopter. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. And now we get to fly. Pretty cool. There are there's one transformation that I really dislike. Just ah nah. What well, good? I wanted to go down here anyway. I wanted to find whatever. Where was that flower? There it is. Yeah, so some transformations are... The, the mole tank we'll see in a later level is just really, really slow. And there's no penalty here. Now, it is possible to get hit while in the helicopter form and you fall down, but it doesn't really... There's no real penalty, penalty on this stage. On later stages, you'll really need to be mindful of that. Ah, uh, there's nothing on those sides. I'm trying to remember where the red coins are here. I know there's like a ton. Going up. Oh, there's the end. I don't know if I want to hit that yet. Alright. I'm gonna go down here real quick. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Alright, doesn't look like it. Time to go back, boys! I'm sorry, if we just want to do 100%, I gotta make sure. I would hate to do the level more than once. I know I'm probably gonna have to at some point, but... For right now... Just... Yeah. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm still getting my bearings. I've not played this game in a while. And I should just be able to go right through. Does that talking block have a name? Anybody? I feel like it does. Those enemies are called Gusties. They're they're the wind, ooh. Oh, that's right, there's one up here. Got it. That's what I was missing. Okay, just barely made it. I believe there's a one-up on that corner over there, but on the left, but it's not worth it. Okay, yeah, that's where I was supposed to go. Oh, I like that how hitting that one reveals this part over here to you, even though it's easy to tell because it's different. Sleep mode. No, I want to... there we go. Uh, three coins, one flower. That should be up ahead here. Oh, I just can't... <laughs> I don't know how I hit that one up. Oh, wow, I almost walked into that guy. There we go. One up from that. Yeah, if you have 30 stars, then it just becomes coins. Oh, God. Here comes the panic. Oh, it was right... That was right at the end? Wow, that's a... What a dick move on their part. <laughs> oh, boy, bonus game. I believe this one is the, uh, scratch and sniff. Well, this is the scratch off, but, you know... 100 points. Is it? Yeah, scratch and match. Close enough scratch and sniff. Imagine smell a vision on games. That'd be pretty great. Come on. Alright, well. That's okay. I still got a chance for two up. That's okay. Oh, see? Look, I got one. Uh. Did I get. Nope. Well, one life is still one life. Although, I'm gonna do an exploit later to get infinite. Uh, to, you can go up to 999 lives, honestly. So this is the first extra super duper chomp rock level. The Cave of Chomp Rock. As you can see, we're very creative with the names. Now, I don't remember if killing these does anything. But, I'm gonna- Oh! Hello. Uh... Can I just... I think this is a one-up. Alright, well, we're not getting that. <laughs> I could have sworn I hit it. Anyway, yep, here is the uh, chomp rock that you we will be pushing for the entirety of this level. Oh, ground stomp mechanic. 
Get it? It rocks because we're in a chomp rock level. So yeah, that ground pound mechanic is going to be very key to finding red coins. Oh, I just despawned the rock. Great. Um, it's really key to finding coins. That's like the number one spot they like to hide red coins in the later levels. I believe this one here has one. Yep. These little nipper plants from Mario World are back. Honestly, the cave music is probably some of the best in Yoshi's Island. It's really sad how the later Yoshi Island games completely ruin the music. Uh, can you... No, I don't want to switch. I'm surprised they even gave me the option in-game, but whatever. There is a really good remix of this song that's on OC Remix. I think it's called Crystal Cavern. Probably one of my favorite video game remixes of all time. I used to make them back in the day, but... I just grew out of it. Oh no! Woo! <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Easy peasy. Yeah, the chomp rocks are sort of boring mechanic. I mean, you're just sort of forced to move at their pace. I didn't want to hit that. Whoops. Oh well. And nothing there. Oh god! Jesus Christ! That's- <laughs> you'd never want to get behind a jump rock. Oh cool, we're at 30 already. So let's see, I went down here already. I think I gotta go up here now. Whoa! I always like the spooky lantern ghost guys. They were- I don't remember- I don't know what they're called. A lot of the enemies in this game just aren't named. Oh, whoops. Not a big deal. Oh, there's the key for the minigame door. Oh, cool, I can just hit that. Wait, did I get it? I probably only hit one. There we go. I just wish you could have like a, a reservoir of stars and you only needed 30. That'd probably like be the biggest way to fix this game. Um, because a lot of people don't like the star mechanic for 100%, and I agree that it is kind of annoying. So maybe if you could just ho can hold more than 30 stars, but you only need 30 for a completion, that'd be pretty nice. Because it would reward you for, uh, having 30 stars already. Oh boy. Balloon time. I believe the best way is just to hold on to it, and then toss it the last second. This bandit enemy will show up later, and it is very, very annoying. <laughs> Alright, now he should be able to pop. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, I should pop on him now. There we go. Yeah, that, that really isn't difficult in the slightest. That's the easiest one. I think the hardest one is the watermel mel watermelon spitting contest. I think there's also one where you have to collect coins. Oh, come on. <laughs> I may have messed up now for 100%. Oh, no, that box is back. Does it give me stars? Is the question. Whoops. It does. That was really generous. I think I lucked out there. The minigame door does reset everything in the level, I believe. Alright, get around these nipper plants. The, uh, parachute nippers don't actually give you eggs. For whatever reason. What? Was there one inside the rock? Are you kidding me? Hello? Oh, what? There's something down here? Oh, okay. Yeah, some pipes lead you into these, um, empty areas where they spawn. I don't really exactly know what the point of it is, because there's nothing in them. Alright, anyways, that was a dirty trick, hiding inside the rock like that. Alright, what was the point of pushing this anywhere? It's not like I can't just jump up here, normally. Yeah, I don't- <laughs> that was a little pointless. Oh, uh, there should be something here. Yeah! Stars? Oh, just an extra life. Got that. 
God, I love the backgrounds in this game. What is this? Oh, okay. I think this is just a lot of coins. Yeah, well, that's a lot of coins. It's really easy to get one-ups in this game, because I do tend to throw coins at you like this. I do like the semi-3D aspect of that seesaw. That does come into play later. This game has had really nice use of Mode 7 back in the day, which was like the chip that let, uh, let them use it. The, uh, like, semi-3D graphics on the SNES. At least I think that's how it works. Alright, I want to see if I can get a red egg. Oh, well, now I'm just out, but whatever. <laughs> Got it. That's everything here. That's all the f flowers. Now I just need to get some stars back. Alright, let's see if I can manage to get a red egg. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, let's wait for these guys to spawn. Damn it. Alright. I hope we're not gonna lose this level because of star count. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Whoops. There has to be another star cloud somewhere. Right, let's farm these guys for a bit. There's a one-up guy. Aw, oh, come on. Alright. I'm gonna get this. I refuse to start this level over again. I love the happy heals. Yes, the happy heals are great. Yes! Did I get it? Alright, cool, cool. This run is saved! Whoops. I keep rotating eggs on the stake. Whoops. Whoops, come on. <laughs> I'm too afraid to throw it because I don't want to miss. Oh! <gasps> okay, I meant to do that on purpose! Let's see if I can catch him. Woo! Th did you see that trick shot, boys? That was entirely on purpose. The whole run was just saved. <laughs> Whew. I <laughs> That's that put that one in the highlight reel. Whew. I was really nervous for a second there. <laughs> Wait, I got a three up? I guess because I got hundred percent. I forgot that you got lives. Alright, mini boss time! Also, you know what? The map music on this game. I think it's my favorite map music in any video game. Uh, what's the secret? Oh, yes, I know the secret here. So, first off, one of these is gonna fall. Those buckets just give you coins, so it's not really worth wasting anything on. So you can tell that this one's like a little bit before on the top here, like on the foreground. That means it falls. Alright, we got all the yellow eggs. We got the Shy Guy slave labor here. Why do Shy Guys are working for Kamek? I don't know. Why did I decide Shy Guys to be the main villain, considering they're a Mario 2 enemy? I don't know either. Those guys only die to butt stomps. Whoops. You can also ride them. Or he can just decide not to jump. Okay, come on, let me just... Bert! 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 <laughs> come on, Bert. You're killing me here. Alright, so the secret here is... Coins, 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 coins. coins. 
I think this, yeah, and then we can go back and get coins on the other side. Now we do still have to go back down to get the levels, but... B bouncing Bert just getting in the way all the time. Oh yeah, I forgot that the castle music in this game is amazing. Oh, I guess that's the end of that ride. Easy. So these don't actually trigger... They trigger if you hit the ground. They don't trigger if you're above it. Um, I can get more coins here if I want. Yeah, I guess that was worth. I'm gonna get more coins on this side. And people think the new Mario games are generous. This this game literally just gave me like two extra lives for free. Although I know that uh, it is pretty much infinite lives in the new ones. That's why I don't really like the newer Super Mario Bros. series. They just feel sort of old hash. This game, this uh, level is also pretty generous of stars because they give you to Burt enemies a lot. Okay, get that. Po I'll eat the Potabo's spit fire. It isn't really that useful, but. Yeah, it doesn't carry on. Or does it? No, I don't think it does carry on through pipes. Nah. So, Yellow Yoshi always want to take down the mini boss. He must be the brave one. Back when I played Melee, Dark Blue Yoshi, who is, was always my favorite, still is. Even when you have Black Yoshi, I still like it. Oh boy, this is one of my favorite enemies in the Yoshi's Island series. It's our good pal Blarg. Where is he? Come on, there he is. Brah! That's Mini Blarg. We'll find Big Blarg later. I just like the name Blarg. It's, I mean, what kind of what kind of enemy is that? Wait, what's over here? Oh, I didn't even remember there was a flower over there. That was pretty well hidden. I think that's just a regular coin down there, but we gotta figure that out. Okay, yeah. Is there anything down here? Oh. There are these, uh, hotheads. I think they pretty much are hotheads. Yeah, generous of coins much? I mean, it is the first few stages, so I guess they're trying to let you get prepped on lives. I like, how, I like Yoshi's animation for when he can't eat something. I think it's actually possible to get your tongue stuck. There are a few glitches I know on this game. I've had a few. I've had stuff spawn in walls. I've had uh, a glitch where if you pause it- Oh god, there's Big Blarg! <laughs> I've had glitches where you like, if you ground pound and uh... If you ground pound and um... Pause at the right time, the game will just bug out. <gasps> Ooh, okay! <laughs> I almost just ran off that platform, but we're okay. So I think I'm just missing flowers at this point. Oh, Big Bert. What the hell? I swear I was above that guy. Okay, come on, Bert. You're just giving me all the problems today. Bert! Oh, I guess you can egg them. Whoops. Alright, well, we're back at five. <laughs> Freaking Bert, man. Why you gotta be like that? Alright, now if I remember correctly, I have to kill everything in this room and I get a flower. Yep, there it is. That was the last flower. And we have all the coins, now it's just a matter of stars. Oh, and I can re-kill re these guys. Perfect. Where's the other Bert? Oh, I can just, of course, do that, too. Or I can just do that and get all the stuff. Okay, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> Stars are not a problem. Alright, stock up on eggs. And we're good. And this is how all the bosses start. Basically, Comic comes in, he's like, ah, blah, I'm using my magic. Although, I, I always thought Comic was a chick, because it's a witch. Why not, wouldn't it be? But I guess I learned my lesson at some point. 
So here's big old Bert, and he's got really high pants. So to win this fight, all you do is stand here. And his pants fall down. Pretty easy. Whoops. And it's pretty easy to get trick shots. Now you see that eggplant there? Yeah, that eggplant. If you ground pound, it spawns more eggs. Sit down, Bert. Alright, come on. Oh no! Woo! That was close. I think he only has two more hits left. Got him. Yep, and he should be naked after this one. Oh no! Woo! Come on, give me some eggs. And we bounce. And we we bounce? Come on. Bert, please. There we go. That should be it. And in his embarrassment of lack of pants, he explodes. Uh, I, I can't really say I feel bad for the guy. I, if I was in his scenario, I'd probably die of a, He pretty much dies of embarrassment, <laughs> now that I think about it. Alright. 100% Areno. So now we're going on to the second half of this world, starting with the first auto-scrolling stage. Interesting enough, there's no way to actually like speedrun um, the auto-scrolling stages. And we get the athletic theme, which is always everybody's favorite. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh god, that was close. <laughs> okay, those are regular. Got it. I hope I didn't, that last one wasn't there wasn't a coin, but considering the pattern on it, I don't believe it was. And of course, like I said, 5 gay gamers stream going on right now for WWF. Please donate to save the animals. Considering that we are an animal who is helping human. I... well... We're starting that one over. <laughs> We are trying that stage again. I already have 22 lives, look at that. And we're gonna have a lot more once I show you the exploit to get a, uh, 999. Now, I'm not gonna sit there for 999, but... Point being, just wanna help be helpful. So let's get these again. Okay, so that wasn't. I don't think that one was either. Just ride this along. God, I, whoever was the, the behind the art direction of this game, I just feels it just feels great to look at. I also love Lilac Yoshi. Purple Yoshi is pretty great. I'm so glad Smash 4 added all of the colors. Okay, we're not gonna mess up this time. There we go. Oh yeah, I have to get the flower. Like, how can you be sad or upset playing this game? This just it just takes away all your worries. I also like those two tulips over here on that hill. Looks like it has an expression. So that enemy I just ate up is Crazy Daisy. I feel bad because it is a, a sentient flower that is whistling a tune and we're just ruining its day. I think there's something in here. There's nothing in here. Is there anything here? No. I think there is a variant of, this, of the flower that spits bubbles. <laughs> just to show how cutesy this game is. What did I hit? Oh. Extendo block. Oh, checkpoint. That's always good. I don't think check getting if you die and have a checkpoint though, it doesn't really count your progress. There is one auto scrolling level later on called the long cave that is just awful. <laughs> I think that's the worst level in the game for me personally. I didn't 100 percent that for a long time. Alright, nothing there. Your stars. Yeah. Oh god, where am I? Oh! Wow. Uh, that was close. 
stars? Yeah. Alright, cool. Three stars. I don't think the red coin guys leave on this map. Never mind. I'll get it back. I think there's another checkpoint ring or another star bubble so eventually. Wow, how did I let that happen? <laughs> wow, I am just the worst. Oh, I didn't want to restart from the middle ring. Let me check my... Oh, I think I'm okay. I think I can still get everything. I was not paying attention. That's what happens, folks. Two lives already on this level alone. I am not that good at the auto-scrolling stages, to be honest. Well, I just missed all those. But it's okay. Like I said, you can't really get upset at playing this game at all. Honestly, now we're back to 30. It all worked out in the end. If you don't grab the coins from the fly guys right away, they do disappear, so... Oh yeah, donut blocks, I forgot. So you can't, um, stand on them for too long or they fall. Although I think these have red coins. And... Am I complete? Yeah, alright, cool. They didn't set us back that much. Now, I believe that if you hit this with a running jump, you're guaranteed to get a bonus game. At least that's a rumor I was told. So, fun fact, I never realized that Yoshi's supposed to be orange. I always thought it was beige. It looks beige to me, at least. I don't even know if that color was used in Smash Bros. Actually, orange Yoshi? If it even is orange. Like I said, it looks beige to me. Wow, five up? I forgot that 100%ing a world gets you just a ton of lives. Oh boy, I love this level. Shy guys. On stilts. <laughs> oh wow, okay. I thought this was scrolling for some reason. So shy guys on stilts, you can't tongue them. You gotta bop them on the head first, a la Mario, of course. It's interesting that this game was marketed as Super Mario World 2, when it really doesn't have any of the same feel. Oh. There's coins here. I think I have to go to the very top. Yeah, it's just a one-up. I believe this area tells you about the different egg types. Okay, yeah, so... Flashing egg, it gives you a red coin. That's probably the only type of egg that's really important. And you can't get them by other means. So never miss with a red, with a flashing egg, or else you're kind of screwed for the level. And down we go. Do da 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 da. Now we're back in the caves. Now, oh, I didn't know you could get on this pipe. Oh, it's a shy guy pipe. Never mind. I'm gonna explore around here first. Ah. See, exploring in this game always pays off. I'm gonna not waste an egg. And just wait for Mr. Balloon Buddy to come back. Look at the balloon, is so happy! I love the smiling, and then you pop him and end his existence. It's kinda... <laughs> Things with smiley faces are cute until you kill them. Put that on a t-shirt. Alright, ooh, god. I did not mean to bump in the shy guy here. I like these spooky lantern guys. Everything in this game is, is just really happy. I don't know where this is taking me. I have a feeling I missed something, but whatever. Okay, yeah, there were red coins. I'm gonna get some extra stars here. Yep, here we go. Hit that for more star power. Oh, okay, I know this puzzle. First, I'm gonna feed the Flesh Lord as... Raukau calls it, because you essentially turn enemies into stars. 
Whoops, I did not want to do that. I'll find another one. Oh boy. <laughs> I forgot that those were there. Not a big deal. You can just head back up. I'll make sure I feed the Flesh Lord later. So, the Scrum Pound there for the flower. Whoops. Of course, in this game, you kind of have to check everything. Does, do what, should I guys on stilts walk off edges? No, they just magically walk backwards on stilts. Alright, come on, buddy. We're gonna take you to, uh, see our good friend. And in you go. This will spit out coins if you're at 30, as you can see. Coins aren't that important in this game, though. Because there are much easier ways of getting extra lives. Man, I am just bumping into everything. Hmm? Oh, I think this is more coins. And here's the transformation I was talking about that's really slow and finicky. It's the mole tank. I am not a fan of this transformation. I personally even like the submarine more, and the submarine goes pretty slow. I do like how the music kind of gets like reduced though. Alright. And got him. I just wait for this to respawn. Or not. But I got all the red coins, and that's what matters the most. Oh, come on. <laughs> I am just messing up all the time today. Got it. Hit boxes. <laughs> All right, let's go. I should be fine. There'll be a bonus ring in here somewhere. Batty. God, can I just stop bumping into everything now? Oh wait, was I supposed to jump? Yeah, I was. Whoops. I think it respawns. Yeah, it does. And we gotta do a trick shot here. There, we got it. That's actually a mechanic that the game doesn't really explain until much later. Um, bouncing things off walls like that for trick shots and knowing your angles. Which is surprising, but... I mean, I guess they want to make it so that not everything is obvious immediately. I think this is a big happy sunflower. Yep. These things had like X's for eyes in the original for some reason, if I remember correctly. Alright, that's all the coins. Now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for stars. Oh my god, that's the end of the level. That sucks. Well, we're gonna have to do this level again. Good thing we didn't get a bonus game. Man, I don't can't believe I messed up that bad. Not a problem. It will literally take a minute, because I just found everything. Or we can just go to the next level. <laughs> Not a big deal. Touch Fuzzy, this is the level everyone loves. Everyone loves this level. It's probably the most iconic level in the game, honestly. So the idea is that you can't jump on those guys, but you can push them around. Which will lead to... How you get infinite lives. So let me just find the spawning Shy Guy pipe. Ah, here it is. So... What you do... Is just stand here. And this guy will jump around. And infinite lives. I think you have to put him over here, though. 
yeah, that's the gist of it. I'm not gonna like farm here lives forever, but I do remember that doing that all the time as a kid. I'm not sure if it worked in the original or what, but ah, flashing egg. So we got two flashing eggs. We gotta make sure we hit something with them, obviously. Or we just get eaten by a piranha plant. <laughs> Not a big deal. Oh, except the flashing eggs just left. Well. Okay. <laughs> that, that sure was something. Alright, well, whatever. I didn't want to do that stage anyway. I wanted to go back to Shy Guys on Stilts. Alright, let's go. Bum, bum, ba dum, bum. We're doing this stage again. <laughs> Just get the flashing egg and move on. Check, and check. Let's not mess up this time and be more careful. I was just sort of rushing and it got the best of me. Luckily we're still early on, so... Minor setbacks aside. Yeah, getting eaten by a piranha plant is probably the worst thing that can happen to you in this game because you lose all your eggs like that, except I didn't know it would despawn the flashing ones considering you kind of need them for 100%. Alright. Dropped it a little early, not a big deal. Alright. I always love the glow effect on Yoshi in these levels that are underground. I didn't need to eat those. I always overstock on eggs. Oh yeah, I gotta stay on the top of this, I remember. Get these. Got it. Make these guys despawn, and get the stars. I don't know why stars are the currency used for time, but I guess they had to go with something, right? Oh, what if the stars are like the baby star men, of the, like the baby invincibility stars? Because everything is like babyfied in this game, because it's baby Mario and everything. That'd be interesting. New uh, game theory episode right there. Call Matt Pat and the... Uh, Grasping for Straws crew. Alright, yeah, that's explaining the P-Switch mechanic. I probably could have made it back that one time, but... I'll go down. Okay, mole tank time again. This time we'll see if we can actually getting back there does anything. I did get all the coins though the last time, so I'll just be take a more efficient route. There we go. This is probably the intended way to do it. I just sort of did it a little bit backwards. This looks easy to control, but in later levels it gets really awkward. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, we're not gonna find out. <laughs> There is an item you can use that um, reveals all red coins, but it's not too useful. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> it's surprising these guys can stay so balanced on their stilts. Back it up. You ain't getting near me? Alright. <laughs> And back down. Ooh, dodged a bat. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot I have to go down here. Oh, I guess I don't have to go down there. There we go. And then we do a trick shot again. Come on, I know you're a red coin. There we go. Whoops. Got him. Drop down. Bag, big happy sunflower time. Let's just get this level over with. I promise that will not be happening that much. Especially on these first stages, I feel kind of dumb. I was just sort of trying to rush, force my way through a level that didn't need to be forced through, but... Wait, where am I missing a flower? Wow, are you kidding me? Well... We did everything right this time, except the flower. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to... I don't even know what I where I missed it. Oh my god, was it the stomp area by the, by the tulip? It couldn't have been. Where was I missing a flower? That's a one-up. I know that's a one-up. Wow, I don't even know what to say. I'll figure this out. I'll figure out where this flower is. God. Stupid happy flower. Wah! Okay. Where did I miss a flower? Oh, this one. Oh my god, I knew... I, that was it. That had to have been it. Because I did just, I just bounced on this recklessly. Alright, speed mode time engaged. If you have the time after the stream, be sure to check, you should go watch the archive of uh, Awesome Games Done Quick uh, speedrun of this game. It really was amazing to watch. It, they did speedrun the original. I don't know if those tactics would work in this one. Because I don't know if this is like how direct of a port this is, but. Alright. I'm 100% guaranteed 100% this time. 100%, 100%, Got it. Alright, max stars. Well, almost. Not a big deal. Feed the flesh god. Come back here. 